What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to the final volume of Ultimate Knife Mods. Uh, the uh, five entries for today's upload are of course the most voted for knives of each of the five volumes in Ultimate Knife Mods. If you don't know what's going on, you can check out my Ultimate Knife Mods playlist uh, for the intro video, uh, the first five volumes, and then ultimately this volume right here, um, which is once again, the winners of each of those volumes. So what we're doing today is uh, voting on the ultimate winner of the contest. Of course, um, the person whose knife is voted, uh, you know, the absolute ultimate knife mod will be winning a spectacular prize, which I talked about in the uh, intro video. And you folks who have been voting um, are also one of you is going to win uh, a prize. So make sure that you do vote. This has been really, really fun. And the finals, like the like the the people who ended up as the the final five winners, um, their entries are truly incredible. So it'll be really interesting to see which one you guys pick here because all of these mods are amazing. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Uh, make sure as you are voting uh, that you type out very clearly, I am voting for number and then type out the uh, word, the number. So if it's one, that's O-N-E, not the number one because the system that I use to determine or to tally up the votes does not recognize the numbers. It needs the actual word. So that's what I'm gonna be searching for. If you want your vote to count, you have to type out O N E. It won't be counted unless you do that. So for two, T W O, three, T H R E E, and et cetera, et cetera. I don't have to tell you guys how to do that. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off here with the first one, at number one, the Benchmade 940 with the transparent knives reblade. Uh, rock scale design scales, screws, and backspacer. Uh, RGT or Rips Garage Tech pocket clip, which we're going to look at here in a second. Instagram is Silver Edge underscore 77. You can see down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This is gorgeous. Transparent knives, their reblades. I'm going to tell you guys, they got two, two of their reblades actually made this list. This is amazing. This is an awesome reblade for the 940. I really loved it. I'm glad that you guys get, did too. I think the pocket clip matches. The whole theme of this knife looks really, really good. Um, I think it's just an excellent overall small EDC knife and the build was just really nice, right? It's not necessarily overly complicated. I mean, other than the blade being totally, I guess it is. <laughs> the blade is certainly complicated, um, but uh, this is just a really nice mod and uh, I very, very much enjoyed it. I think the picture also looks nice with the oranges in the background, right? Um, so that goes a long way, making the knife pop, accentuating the uh, different, uh, you know, angles and different elements and things like that. So very, very beautiful. Once again, the Benchmade 940 with the uh, transparent knives reblade. Um, this is a nine. I keep thinking that it's a mini. And the reason that I think that is because the blade is so tall in comparison with the body, which actually looks really, really good. Uh, but no, it's a 940. This is a full size 940. Could not imagine how much joy this knife brings its owner, Silver Edge underscore 77. Moving on here to number two, TWO. No surprise this one made the list, the Mando uh, Recon 35. <laughs> Holy moly, this is a cool one. Uh, aluminum blast, uh, heat bronzed hardware and clip, which you guys can see there, Mudhorn engraving on the clip. This is the way in Mandalorian engraving in the blade fuller, which is so cool. Even if you're not, try not to get hung up on that, well, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I can't vote for this. This is a super cool mod, right? It's not like you can only vote for this thing if you're a massive Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars, definitely not the biggest fan in the world, but this is a gorgeous mod. I only, unfortunately, only have one picture of this thing, um, but this is amazing. And I think that, you know, a lot of people might be asking, is the blade modified? That compound tanto with the hollow front end? No, that's actually a stock blade, but funny enough, it actually goes perfectly with all the modifications and looks super futuristic, right? I mean, if they were gonna be carrying around pocket knives in Star Wars, this is exactly what I would imagine would be in their pockets. Make sure you guys follow, by the way, Mr. Mr. Designs on Instagram because that is super duper cool. 
All mods, by the way, were done by at EDC Gearhouse uh, slash Way of Knife, which I'm I'm familiar with both. Uh, very cool. So the Mando 035, number two. That's T W O. Moving on here, another fantastic one. <laughs> Crewwear MG80 20. This is the full size American big boy, etched and tumbled for 16 hours. Added a Bowie clip, fuller, and deployment hole. Uh, second etch and dyed scales to bronze. All mods by me or the person who did this, which is at sinister underscore knife underscore clips. This knife, every time I look at it, it cracks me up because this was the knife that if you guys missed my live stream, or I think it was maybe one of my knife guy episodes, somebody um, messaged me on Instagram and they were so upset. They were so thoroughly upset that someone dare spend their own money for their own knife and modify it. How dare you, sir? Uh, in the best Snape voice that I can do. Um, yeah, uh, that that just cracked me up. There was some you know guy that was bent out of shape that you know that these are so hard to get, and somebody got one, and uh, you know me showing this type of modification is. Um, you know, I'm basically uh, promoting a modification of knives that are really hard to get and throwing it in everybody's face. Uh, what <laughs> was my response to that? Sorry for the sidetrack and the story time. Um, yeah, uh, these are hard to get. But I'll remind, you know, I mean, 99% of people know this. I'll remind anybody who sympathizes with that person. The person who bought this knife spent their own money on it. Anybody who thinks they have the right to tell people what to do with their own money or their own property can kick rocks 10 times over. I think this is an awesome modification. And if you want to do your own modification to your own stuff, you should do it. I'm glad this guy did it. I'm glad this knife made it to the finals. I think it's awesome. The color combination is super cool too, by the way. The blade, uh, the uh, the hole in the blade, which was obviously not there because the standard um, Demco 8020 hole is actually a long, it's more of an oval. Um, so yeah, I think this looks excellent. Uh, and then the, I think this is like a, the burgundy scales, right? Um, you can see in a closer look there. I think that this is super duper cool. <laughs> I would be proud to own this knife. I think it's awesome. So again, uh, this is going to be number, what were we at? This is going to be number three if you want to vote for the modified uh, Crewwear MG8020. That's T-H-R-E-E. -E. I know you know how to spell three. I'm just reminding everybody to spell it and not type the number. Moving on here to number four. This was a surprise. The only budget knife to make the list. Um, you guys really like knives with holes in the blade. So do I. Part of it's me because those are the ones, those are the entries that I picked from the emails. So yeah, the only budget knife, the only non-American knife to make the list, but super cool. It's just proves that like you can take something, you know, that's very inexpensive, like the CJRB Crag, and you can just change it uh, completely, right? And it's not, this is, this is the least expensive mod on the entire list and it made it all the way to volume six, a simple CJRB crag. I, it's super cool, I, I just love it. Uh, the mods were the thumb hole and flipper delete, which is excellent. Uh, honestly, CJRB, I, don't, I doubt that they're watching, but if they are, you should just make this. It's, it's, it's way better than the crag uh, as it came out uh, from the factory. Um, carved and dyed scales, hand rub, satin, and faux sanmai etched blade. So not an actual sanmai blade, but it looks very much like sanmai. Very cool, just for the aesthetic, right? A lot of people, the reason you buy sanmai, yeah, it does have performance benefits depending on the compositions that are used, but a lot of people buy sanmai just because it looks cool. This looks cool. Um, the uh, Instagram account you want to follow, uh, the gentleman behind this knife is at Ron Steel Design down there in the bottom right hand corner. Very, very cool. Um, just a just a good looking knife all the way around. And obviously a fantastic EDC knife. Simple liner lock right with the thumb hole. And now you can actually, the nice thing about the flipper delete on this thing is he can actually make use of that forward choil, which if I remember correctly on the crag, it was just an obnoxiously small space with that flipper tab being. That's, that's usually the case with a lot of knives that have flippers and forward choils. It just drives me nuts. There's not enough room because you're having to cock back on the 
it feels like on the trigger, you can't move past it, but now all of this space here is open, right? You can do, you can put your fingers wherever you want in this space. You wanna lean back, you wanna lean forward, right? You wanna be kind of around here, it doesn't really matter, right? Fantastic, love this thing. This is going to be number four, F-O-U-R. Moving on here to the final entry, the Benchmade bug out. Fortunately, the, uh, th thankfully, because there were a lot of, I realized there were two or three bug outs that made it into my uploads. And that's mainly because mostly what I got was Spyderco and Benchmade knives. Um, this Benchmade bug out has uh, the Bashy Designs Titanium milled skills, which now that I'm thinking about it, I think we saw those on Best Damn EDC on his uh, videos a long time ago. Um, these are some of the best looking modified scales for uh, the bug out that I have ever seen. Uh, the Deep Carry Clip, which I believe is a Lynch Northwest clip. Um, and then we have blue anodized titanium uh, hardware, well, at least the pivot. Uh, once again, the Transparent Knives Reblade, which is magna cut hardened to 64.3 HRC, 7 thousandths behind the edge at 18 degrees per side. Um, this is a cool knife. And, you know, you guys, uh, that's the funny thing about volume five is that the votes were pretty well spread out like a lot of the stuff in volume five was really really competitive until we got to this guy and everybody seemed to very much like this knife um and uh yeah it's a beautiful one um the reblades i'm gonna have to check out transparent knives i mean i i feel like transparent knives which is these uh folks right here transparent knives I feel like they m might get some traffic, <laughs> from, but I kind of want to ask them like, hey, like how, how long does it take to do a reblade, you know? Because that's really, really cool. Um, easily one of the nicest, if not the nicest bug outs. Bug out, bug outs? Do you, in the transition there, do you add the S? I have no idea. Uh, easily um, one of the coolest looking bug outs that I have ever seen. Um, so yeah, this is going to be number five, F. I V E. Certainly not an inexpensive modification. Guys, that's going to be it. This is the end of my series. I hadn't done a series in a while, right? So it's kind of, dang, this is, this was like six weeks. We'll do one more video where we announce the winners, um, or I will do it on a live stream or something like that. Uh, but make sure you vote. Um, I will uh, tally up the five voting winners from each of the five episodes, and then we'll do a an RNG, uh, probably probably best to do that live. Probably be best to pick the winners of this stuff live. Um, I don't know. We'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and uh, then we'll do an RNG for the five voting winners of each of the volumes, and the, the, of course only one person can win. Um, so the, uh, the, the prizes, by the way, are the Hogue Deca V2, and the, um, uh, let's see, Fanatic Edge Omen uh, V2 will be for the ultimate. Uh, that's a $300, $350 knife will be for the uh, winner of the Knife Mods contest. But anyways, one voter is going to win the DECA. And one of the, uh, you know, five here that we just looked over, uh, one of these folks is going to win um, the Omen. Which I would then suggest they modify and show off on Instagram so that I can generate additional traffic from it. No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the the reason I thought the Omen would be a good prize is because it comes from folks who, you know, the entire business is, surrounds the joy of modifying knives. If you've never checked out Fanatic Edge, you absolutely should. That's, that's who actually sent that to me. So anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed uh, this series. This was a lot of fun to make. Um, if you did, either way, uh, make sure that you leave a like. Uh, make sure you check that you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed or if you're not familiar with my channel, I upload two uploads a day and I've been consistent for well over two years. So lots of knife content. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.